Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your Venus Romance Love Reading. Venus is moving into Aquarius on December 20th and she will remain there until January 12th. So this tarot reading will cover that time frame. And also uh, Mars will be moving into Sagittarius on January 3rd. So there is some spiritual energy going on in the romantic readings with Venus um, for as she moves into Aquarius just because of what Mars is doing. But also, Sagittarius, we have the Capricorn New Moon along with the annular solar, or yeah, the solar annular eclipse taking place on the 26th of December. And that is an eclipse that really closes the door on a lot of different stuff, okay? And I've been seeing that in the readings as well. So, um, it, it's coming through as positive or, you know, some of the readings are a little bit shadowy. So let's go ahead and take a look for you guys, what the overall energy is for you during December 20th through January 12th as Venus moves through Aquarius. And, you know, as Venus is in Aquarius, it's kind of a detachment from the emotional body, all right, where we get more analytical about things. We're more in our mental body and facts and logic are um, the like deciding factor rather than the emotional feelings or attachments. Okay, so you guys are coming through as a magic moment. Beautiful Sagittarius. Cancer also had that, so potentially if you are involved with the Cancer. But um, that being your overall energy as Venus moves through Aquarius tells me that in the mental body, what you're thinking about is uh, like a very sacred, a special connection with somebody. And, you know, over this next three and a half weeks, there's... A moment or two that you guys are going to share with each other that is sacred, is special, is significant. So single Sagittarius's, you may meet somebody. We're going to pull more cards and see, you know, what comes through. But if you meet a new love over these next three and a half weeks, it's very special. It's just, it's sacred right from the start. Um, so soul-based is what I'm feeling. Um now, uh, some Sagittarius is out there who are, you know, just kind of dating somebody. There's no real commitment. Something special is going to transpire between the two of you, which I feel takes you to the next level. And, you know, committed Sagittarius says, you and your sweetheart look like you guys are just in a really good place um, in love and a special moment is unfolding for you guys as well. So let's pull some more cards. And I, oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, Sagittarius, um, in 2020, you guys are going to have two eclipses in the, with the um, Sagittarius new moon and then the full moon that takes place in 2020. So there's going to be big time shifting and changing for you guys just in general next year. All right. And the Cancer connection is um, the full moon in Cancer uh, in January is actually attached to an eclipse as well. So Sagittarius, I feel for you guys, the eclipses, um, the, the one, the new moon in Capricorn on the 26th of December, the full moon in Cancer on the 10th of January, and then um, the Sag full moon, which I believe is like end of April, sometime early May, and then your new moon, which is going to be um, end of like November, early December. Those are major shifting points for you guys next year, and it goes deeper than romance, but it's also, I'm feeling it so strong in your romance, that's why I'm talking about it, um, a lot of positive improvement and energy to your love and to your love situations. Oh my God, I feel it, Sagittarius. Let's pull some more cards. We have the mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. <gasps> Sagittarius, look at that, the mirror, your perfect reflection, your love, your sweetheart, you know, through your challenges, through your imperfections, like this relationship that's coming through is so special. Like you guys are going to grow and evolve so much through each other. Sagittarius, whether you're already committed to this person right now um, or this is a new love coming in, it's like through each other, 
um, the best of you is reflected, but also the uh, potential emotional wounds or baggage that exists in either one of you is also reflected through the other, which brings it to the surface where we know we have to grow and improve and change. In fact, this relationship is going to grow you so much or has already grown you quite a bit just depending on how long you've been in it but it is special this is like your soulmate twin flame Sagittarius um, you know those of you that uh, identify as being starseed this would be that blue flame love and it's special it is sacred it's like and you um, as Venus moves through Aquarius that more analytical perspective it's you are recognizing the depth the sacredness, the bond in which you share with this person. And, um, you know, maybe you just think, oh, I just love them so much. You know, I just love them. And, and I have rose colored glasses on and all those things. Well, now as Venus moves through Aquarius and you rise up from that more analytical perspective, you're going to realize just how much that person is your other other half, the reflection of you, um, the love of your life. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius, this is such a beautiful reading. And now we have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Sagittarius, this uh, mainly speaks to the passion and chemistry that exists between you and this other person that is coming through in this reading like you guys you, you guys have good times um, and it's equal and it's mutual and with the dating there at the attraction flirting and dating Sagittarius this is a new romance for some of you singles and I swear it just like sweeps you off your feet um, you know go out take up all invites and invitations from friends from family you know let's go have drinks let's go out to dinner let's go do this let's go do that do it you just I mean this person could be anywhere and oh my gosh Sagittarius this is just like such a beautiful reading and you know if you just go through some of the other readings I've done um, so far for um, Venus moving through Aquarius, not good, not good at all. So you guys are a breath of fresh air for me. Honestly, this is so beautiful. And, you know, those of you who have been single for a really long time, um, with all of this eclipse energy and just what I'm picking up in this reading, like it's starting to shift Sagittarius and there is love for you in 2020. 100% if it doesn't show up um, as Aquarius is moving through Venus, okay? I have Venus is moving through Aquarius. But um, yeah, it's all about love, like a soulmate, twin flame, like a very significant sacred romance and partnership that is just like the depth of you, the depth of them. And you, you guys are so in alignment with each other and your chemistry is so magic and perfect and beautiful. Those of you in commitments, um, lots of changes taking place in, you know, 2020, but I feel in a good way. And, you know, for some of you that may not be committed or there was any sort of third party influence, that's all falling away. And you guys are really coming together. It's like, you know, magic. It's beautiful energy. All right, let's pull some more cards. Whoa, let's pull some more cards. And that one definitely wants to be a part of this reading so what do we have oh look who jumped out the knight of cups mr romantico all right this is i love you or i like you i want to be with you you're everything to me um those of you in committed relationships this is just like a romantic gesture it's affection it's sweetness it's thoughtfulness it's a magic moment a magic date um you know something special that you guys are sharing with each other but you singles out there this is the card of new love, a new person, a new romance coming in. Um, could be a water sign. I say that very loosely just because this feels more of like the confirmation of, yes, there is a romance for you. Um, but could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and now those of you where, you know, there's kind of been this back and forth or there was some sort of third party issues, that's all fading away. And it's like we are ready to be in and to be serious. I like it. Okay, oh, that 
that's a little too, I try to put it a little bit at a slant so that you guys don't get the glare on the card. Oh my goodness, and look at this, Sag, two of cups. To coming together, um, a strong partnership or a new partnership coming in. That's, I mean, that's that's good pairing right there. Three of Wands, even better. This is like finally, finally, um, me and my partner are seeing eye to eye, and um, there's just so much chemistry and passion and magic sparking between us. Or this is a beautiful romance. Sagittarius coming in that you've waited for quite some time or this person where you guys just haven't been able to get it right and you finally finally get it right the empress all oh, fertility strength abundance birthing into um, a new version of self birthing into a new a cycle within um, an existing partnership and a big time confirmation of the eclipses that are going to play out through 2020 impacting you in a positive way birthing forth um, a lot of abundance and prosperity when it comes to love and romance and some of you I just have to say maybe starting a family in 2020 with that Empress and as I say that look what's next ace of wands this um, to me, I know like Ace of Cups is like, you know, talking about a baby, you know, somebody getting pregnant. But to me, this is more of like talking about how it's not, we're not getting pregnant, um, the, you know, December 20th through January 12th. But this is for those of you that are like thinking about starting a family. Here's that soul, that, that baby already around you guys, just waiting for the right time. So confirmation that some of you are going to be starting a family or having another child in 2020, you know, just depending on your situations. All right. Um, but for others of you, this is new love coming in. Oh my gosh. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's magical. It sweeps you off your feet. It is sacred. It's like um, you guys are in that honeymoon phase. I feel all of 2020, like all of 2020, just in love and happy and fabulous with each other. Okay. Um, be careful of an unplanned or unexpected pregnancy. Just going to put that out there because Empress and Ace of Wands. But um, yeah, those of you that have been single for a while, it's coming, Sag. It is coming. Those of you where it's like hit or miss with somebody, like you love each other, you guys have great chemistry, but it's like you just couldn't get it right. You guys are finally going to get on the same page emotionally and spiritually, and you're going to grow together and evolve quite a bit in 2020. And then couples, it's just gorgeous. Like you guys look like you're in the honeymoon phase, to be honest, where things are just changing and happening. You guys are growing and expanding. It could be just within the relationship, adding to the family, your careers, buying a house, you know, just you guys are growing and evolving and expanding and it's so beautiful and it starts now as Venus goes into Aquarius and I, I feel in that space um, it's just a lot makes sense to you because you're getting very analytical and you're thinking long term and so is everybody else so let's um, pull some more tarot On the Ace of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords. Uh, I'm sorry, the Page of Swords. So that is um, a lot of communication with a, a new person, all right? Or um, new ideas coming into existing connections, and we're going to talk about it. And um, some of you, your partner may really, really surprise you, give you some special gift, or do something really nice and thoughtful for you. Under the Two of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords. Um, the loneliness for you singles is about to be a thing of the past. Those of you where you just can't get it right with somebody, but you love each other, you uh, you guys are finally overcoming it. Um, there may have been some karmic energy that you both had to work through. Like I said, you're really evolving in 2020, so you guys overcome that. And, um, you know, couples... I just, I feel like 2020 is a beautiful year for your love, for your romance. And like um, 2019, even if you were in love and happy, you guys went through a lot of crap. And it's like, you know, 2020 is a breath of fresh air for you. 
All right, and now we have this Queen of Cups coming through. So for some of you, again, this could be water sign, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, with, you know, um, the Page of Swords coming out. That felt more about, like, communication and new ideas, but could indicate an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, next we have the Three of Pentacles. I love it, and that's under this Empress, and she is card number three. So I'm telling you, um, some of you, it's like baby makes three in 2020. Um, I don't really feel like this is happening so much, you know, this last couple weeks of December. It's more of like the conception happening at some point in 2020, maybe in March. Um, or in March we're finding out, or in March we're deciding, because you have the Three of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and then you have the Empress as well, and she is card number three. So three is significant, a very significant. Um, maybe this is the third baby, um, or baby makes three, the month, the month of March, maybe we're having triplets, if some of you have been doing intro, like in vitro fertilization. Um, or maybe we get pregnant three months after meeting each other or it's like three years that you've been together it's just the three is significant for you guys um, and those of you you know that this is not about a baby at all um, the three is still significant there is an expansion and growth to your connection um, where it's like going to the next level you guys it, it there it's so if we're just dating no commitment we're getting committed and potentially even moving in with each other at some point. Um, or if, you know, you guys are just brand new meeting, it's like the I love you and the commitment and the moving in with each other is boom, 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 very quick because you, you guys just are magical together. Those of you um, in commitments, um, you know, it's just evolution. I see like adding um, growth, like uh, buying a house or expanding in your career or family. And lastly, under that um, Ace of Wands, look at this, another three, the Three of Wands coming out twice. So however this is playing out for you, Sagittarius, you guys have been waiting for this. You have been wanting this. If this is a new love, it's been a long time coming. Um, if you and your current partner have been in a funk, it's been a long time coming for you guys to go back into this magic, to this honeymoon phase. Those of you who have been dealing with somebody hit or miss, and now we're both finally on the same page, and maybe the baby is what puts you guys on the same page. Um, it's like you guys are evolving and actually coming together and quite solid, uh, I might add. So... And you know, because we have so many threes in there and the seduction, talking about the third party, those of you who have been in, like, that factored at all in the past, that's a thing of the past now. And you and your person, like, it's over, like, karma resolved. So if that was something that you um, had experienced, that's karma has been resolved and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, look at this breath, um, you know. It's done. It's over. It's not going to happen again. Okay, so let's um, pull some advice. Worthwhile. Life is not about being taught a lesson for getting something wrong. It's about having an experience that adds richness to your life. Ooh, it's Sagittarius. Um, you know... The, everything that's changing, like 2020 is just going to be such a different year for you guys in the romantic department. Like you and your current partner really growing, expanding, and evolving. Um, new love coming in for some Sagittarius is out there. And this is like soulmate. This is not just somebody you're going to date for a minute. This is a very special, significant, and sacred relationship. All right? So beautiful messages, Sagittarius. Um, I am wishing you guys all the best. Take care.